Welcome to our show. This week we're going to be taking you to incredible India to show you the great fishing they have to offer. Our journey is going to start right here in Delhi. From Delhi we're going to be going south to Agra and then going west to Jaipur where you're going to see beautiful places, the Taj Mahal, artisans, all kinds of things being made. We're going to be fly fishing and spin fishing in the Turtan River in a beautiful valley. From there we're going to be going on to Barot, another great fishing spot. You're going to see some beautiful sights, experience the Indian culture, taste the cuisine, and you're also going to see a lot of fishing action. Don't miss it. Canadian Sport Fishing, brought to you by Rapala, premium fishing gear crafted from experience. Yamaha Outboards, reliability starts here. Dickies, guaranteed workwear since 1922. Lucky Strike, all you need is a Lucky Strike. Good afternoon, how are you? How are you, sir? Very good, I've heard a lot about you. This is good. So, what do you plan for today? We will go first to Kutub Minar, which is the first Muslim monument in Delhi. Yes. After that, we will visit uh, Humayun's tomb, which is the first uh, Mughal tomb in Delhi. Good. And Taj Mahal is copy of this tomb. After that, we will go to Old Delhi and uh, visit Chani Chowk and see the life of the city of Delhi, Good, which is a lot of ambience, a uh, lot of culture, it's a lot of colorful, you will enjoy it. Good. You know, this is classic trout fishing with light gear, beautiful scenery. The first fish I had on this run was a little bit bigger. This one's a little smaller. Of course, I lost the bigger one. So I'm gonna try to just swing them up here. It's just the thrill of uh, trying all these different boulders you can see with this little rod how much this fish is fighting. I'm gonna to try to sit actually on this rock. I've got sandals on so it doesn't matter if they get wet or not. The rocks in the water are very slippery, but this will be okay. <laughs> Come on, beautiful brown trout. See if I can hold them up by the leader, put my rod down. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Right here in the Himalaya National Park. We're in northern India, and it's called Himachal Pradesh. Look at these beautiful native browns that are throughout the Turtan River. Okay, hold on. Oh, he fell in the water. Now, you know, the pattern of flies that have been working for me are very small green. They're either nymphs or wet flies, and I think they represent caddis flies. So these flies that I'm showing you right here are some of the best patterns to use. So you can see they're anywhere from about a size eight up to a size 10. So they're not really tiny, but they're very natural color. A good idea if you're planning on fishing northern India and any of the main rivers for trout, this is the Turtan River, is to bring a good variety of nymphs because the water's cold here. This is all glacial runoff from mountains that are as high as 10,000 feet. We're right at the base of the Himalayas. So you can get hatches in the evening, so you can use dry flies. Last night we saw fish rising, and tonight I'm hoping to catch some. But you know, besides the great fishing, the scenery is awesome. And look at, you see a native family up there? So the people that live in these mountain regions are amazing. 
and when they see a white person fishing, it's kind of an oddity because they don't really angle. So you can imagine these waters are virgin for the exception of the fly fishermen or ultralight fishermen that come up here. And some of the browns that you can get are up to three, four, five pounds. Barbara, double header. All right, good going. Is this amazing for couples, Barb? It is amazing. It's wonderful. To travel throughout India, to see all the nice sights, the Taj Mahal, yes. Amber. Yes. And then to come here and to catch one trout after the other. It's amazing. It's just gorgeous. The water's so crystal clear, I you know. can see it's right through. It's transparent. Yes. It's beautiful. You know, most people that come to India go to all the tourist sites and a lot of them are temples or their tombs and India's got marvelous marvelous architecture and archaeology but I think most people don't realize how good the fishing is up here in northern there India you know we're just using these light fly rods tomorrow we're going to be exploring this section of river <laughs> it's kind of sandy eh Barb you got to be careful and uh, we're going to be using ultralights but right now we're having too much fun with the fly rods and for those of you that think that the weather's a little bit colder when you get up in the Himalayas, it's not. At night, it's anywhere from about uh, 5 to 10 Celsius. It does get cooler. But midday, it goes right up to beautiful, like uh, 25, almost 30 degrees. Because we're right down in the valley, we're protected. We really don't see the sun. Because if you look at the peaks here, they're really high. Maybe, you know, 500 to 1,000 feet on either side of this river is the gorge but it's very comfortable to fish. And you can see the action is non-stop. And we have another 10 or 15 kilometers of water to fish. See the smile on my face? That's why they say India's incredible.